Hello students, today we are in the last exercise 3.3 of the coordinate geometry. There are only two questions. The first question says in which quadrant or in which axis do each of these points written on the board in the book as well lie. Verify your answer by locating them on the Cartesian plane. Students, before answering this question, you should remember this fact. In first quadrant, x positive, y positive. In the second quadrant, x negative, y positive. In the third quadrant, x negative, y negative. In the fourth quadrant, x positive, y negative. So this one, x negative y positive so it will be on the second quadrant x positive y negative this will be on the fourth quadrant x negative y zero this is on x on x axis x positive y positive first quadrant x negative y negative third quadrant so in order to this writing this answers you have to remember this one now the second part of the same question says verify your answer by locating them on the Cartesian plane we will have to locate it on the Cartesian plane two mutually perpendicular lines x o x dash y o y dash now negative values as x value minus 3 and positive value 3 see 1 2 3 1 2 3 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 1 2 3 x level we have done or y 4 and 5 minus 5 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and 5 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and it is 1 2 3 4 this plus now see this point minus 2 comma 4 minus 2 comma 4 so we will on the graph paper we will get the vertical lines and the horizontal lines wherever they are intersecting this point will be minus 2 comma 4 where it is lying it is lying on the second quadrant as i have told you 3 minus 1 <coughs> fourth quadrant 3 this is 3 and this one is minus 1 3 and this one is minus 1 so 3 comma minus 1 that lies in the fourth quadrant minus 1 0 minus 1 0 this is the point minus 1 0 it lies on x axis only 1 2 1 and 2 this is 1 and from 2 y this point is 1 comma 2 that is the first quadrant and minus 3 minus 5 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 5 you will get n number of vertical lines and horizontal lines on your graph paper and with the help of that we can easily plot minus 3 minus 5 so this is all about your question number 1 how to plot the given points on the number line or how can you identify that a given point lies in the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant or fourth quadrant or, or 
whether it lies on x-axis and y-axis. Question number two we will do. See, <clears throat> number two, plot the points x, y of the following table on the plane, choosing suitable units of distance on the x-axis, or on the, on the distance on axis. X, O, x dash y o y dash see the thing is suitable units in the graph x value goes up to 3 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 equal gap. 10 small division represents one unit along x-axis and along y-axis as well. And this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and like this. y value goes up to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. A negative side, minus 1, and let it be minus 2. Now students try to understand, we have to plot the points x, y given on the following table on the plane choosing suitable units. What we have chosen? Scale chosen, chosen, 10 small divisions represent one unit along x-axis and y-axis. Scale selection. Now minus 2, 8. x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 8. So this one. On the graph paper in number of horizontal and vertical lines you will get this will be minus 2 comma 8 this very point minus 1 7 minus 1 it is this is minus 1 and 7 so its coordinate minus 1 comma 7 0 minus 1.25 0 minus 1.25. See, this is 1, this is 2. We will divide it into 4 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4. By making 3 equal cuts. So, the gap between minus 1 and minus 2 is divided into 4 equal parts by making 3 equal cuts. Now, this very point will be your 0 comma minus 1.25 this is 1.25 this is 1.50 it is 1.75 this is minus 2 so we have plotted this very point this very point represents 0 comma minus 1.25 now 1 3 this is 1 and this one is 3 first quadrant This is the 3, 1 comma 3 and the last one is 3 minus 1, 3 and minus 1, fourth quadrant. 
positive 3 and negative minus 1 it is 3 comma minus 1 in this way we can plot <coughs> the uh, plot the given ps plot the points x y given on the following table on the, on the plane choosing suitable units of distance on the axis in this way we can plot the points on the axis coordinate axis hope students you have understood and in your fair copy you will definitely solve each and every questions that i have discussed so far and in this way we have completed the chapter 3 which is the chapter of coordinate geometry again in next chapter that is chapter 4 we will meet students till then do all the sums of chapter 3 and in case of any confusion or doubt feel free to ask me the questions thank you and goodbye